At the age of 92, I am proud to be able to look back over my life. I can remember situations way back. St. Simon's Episcopal Church, 22nd and Reed, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <laughs> my troop was 181. My scoutmaster was Mr. Morgan, and he was present all the time, encouraged us whatever activity we wanted to go into as far as scouting was concerned. I achieved my Eagle Scout in 1927. I was proud to wear the Boy Scout uniform because just being part of that organization meant so much to me. My uh, early career as a Boy Scout and going camping and learning uh, a little bit of self-confidence in what you could do and, you know, sometimes getting lost and the uh, usual things boys do. All these things uh, helped build up a character in myself that allowed me to handle uh, crises. And that's exactly what Apollo 13 was. And, well, I think the character that you, uh, that, that you learn in scouting, working together, being honest with each other, being close-knit together, and depending on one another, on, on our camping trips and doing things, all these things build character into a young man that he takes with him uh, into adulthood and makes him a much better citizen. And that's why uh, scouting to me has always been uh, an organization I've always wanted to help. I think is one of the best youth organizations that we could have in this country. You know, scouting is a kind of program that once you're infected with it, you, you can't get away from it. One of the most remarkable things about this program particularly is the more you give time-wise, resource-wise, the more you get, the more pleasure you get. There is nothing better for me than seeing kids I've worked with eight or nine years graduate from college, get jobs, and I know that there was an impact there. And you know, it's a debt that I owe to the scoutmasters who worked with me. I had some great leaders as a kid. And you know what, they took time away from their families and they took time away from their jobs to make sure I felt comfortable growing up, to make sure I set my goals, I hit my priorities, and I did what I needed to do to grow into a man. The venturing program was very appealing to us because of the high adventure aspect. Um, it was rock climbing and backpacking and things that we had always wanted to do but hadn't had the opportunity to. Our crew is um, incredibly fortunate for having uh, supportive advisors who have been with us since our chartering and they do it because they have fun. You know, we have a great time and we know they're having a great time. Their role is specifically an advisor role and their job is basically to sit back and make sure that we're doing um, what we want to do, but doing it safely. Throughout the years, from generation to generation, the scout leader has been at the heart of the scouting movement. Preparing young people to meet challenges, to maintain values, to make the right choices in life, to be leaders themselves. And just as important, helping young people have fun. This training program is designed to give you, the new scout leader, many additional resources beyond fast start, position specific, and or basic training. You're about to embark on one of the most engaging and rewarding experiences of your life. So welcome, and thank you for volunteering to be part of the great tradition that is the Boy Scouts of America. After completing this section, you will be able to identify the founder of scouting, name the founder of the Boy Scouts of America, and cite various elements of scouting. Scouting began in 1900, when British General Robert Baden-Powell, a returning hero from the wars in South Africa, decided to focus his skills on helping the youth of his homeland. He began teaching boys from industrial urban London how to be self-sufficient in the wilds of an English Channel Island. He saw scouting as a way for young people to learn from nature, and in the process, build self-confidence and strengthen character. In 1908, Lord Baden-Powell published his original manual entitled Scouting for Boys, and soon the concept of scouting began to spread around the world. The birth of scouting in America came in 1910. William D. Boyce, an American businessman visiting London, was lost in the fog and aided by a scout who refused a tip. Scouting came to America as a result of this unknown scout and his good turn. Boyce decided the program was ideal for America to develop the kind of citizens needed in the decades ahead. And he was right. Scouting was a perfect fit for our growing, aspiring nation. On February 8, 1910, 
the Boy Scouts of America was officially incorporated in the District of Columbia. And by 1912, Boy Scout troops had been organized in every state. As America was becoming an industrial giant, Boy Scouts served energetically on the home front, selling bonds and stamps, growing food in Boy Scout gardens, collecting peach pits for gas mask filters, and locating walnut trees for rifle stocks. 20 years later in World War II, Scouts did their part back home with scrap drives and poster campaigns. Over the course of the first half of the 20th century, the Boy Scouts of America won the hearts of millions of Americans and secured their place as a vital American institution. From the beginning, the founders of the BSA took Baden-Powell's philosophy and made it America's program for boys. The first American scouting guidebook, Handbook for Boys, is one of the best-selling books in history. The founders also created a program of ranks and merit badges to recognize the effort and dedication of scouts. Merit badges are based on vocational and avocational interests, and advancement is earned as a scout learns new skills. This has instilled an enduring culture of achievement for the Boy Scouts. The ranks a scout earns build upon one another, the lessons of one rank used in the next. The scout's skill and knowledge grow and grow, and with effort and determination, he can achieve Boy Scouting's highest honor, and to this day, a recognized symbol of outstanding character, the Eagle. Another BSA tradition is to gather every few years for a national jamboree in celebration of the ideals of scouting. And every four years, scouts from around the globe come together for the world jamboree. Scouting has evolved through the years to keep pace with the changing America, but our mission, vision, and values remain constant. The mission of the Boy Scouts of America is to prepare young people to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetimes by instilling in them the values of the Scout Oath and Scout Law. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout Law, to help other people at all times, and to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. I, John Crawford, promise to do my best, to do my duty, to God and my country, to help other people, and to obey the law of the pack. As a venturer, I promise to do my duty to God and help strengthen America, to help others, and to seek truth, fairness, and adventure in our world. And when a Boy Scout memorizes the Scout Law, these qualities remain with him for a lifetime. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. The traditions of scouting were built by volunteers, and they are sustained through the time, energy, and commitment of adults like you. You make the mission, vision, and values of scouting come alive for young people in your community. There's nothing more rewarding than seeing young men and women you lead develop skills, self-confidence, and strength of character. But talk to any scout leader and you'll soon find that the scouting experience benefits the leader as much as the scout. Scouting is for a family, and you do it because you care what kind of future you want your children to have. It makes me a... Uh more energetic person. It's, it really makes me as an adult think about my image as a person. I love it. I love watching kids mature. I love watching kids step up and become leaders. A little tiger cub will pull on his mom's coat and say, there she is. That's my leader. And, you know, come up and grab me around the knees. I mean, that melts my heart. And I get something from that.